crew conversations. Always fun, right? Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You just wish... You just wish... They died, you lived. That happens in this job. Yes, Commander. Believe me, I understand that. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. So be more alert. The answer seems plain enough to me. Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. Great minds think alike. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. You're seriously refusing to talk to your superior officer? Dude. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. Forget about it. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. I like girls. Mako! The gyroscope machine. The gyro machine. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Yes, uh, we humans are obsessed with size. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Gap. So, basically, what you're saying is, you're space gypsies, is what you're saying, right? I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work, mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I should go. See you later. I should go. I should go. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian, Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Yeah, I know her. She's like three feet to your right, dude. I'll get it. What? 
I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Seriously? Refusing the captain again? Doctor! Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Complications? What, like uh, erectile dysfunction? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Right. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I should go. I should go. Yes. I like how they salute. They know their place. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy, and I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. More racist pricks. What we need is an intergalactic... Uh... Abraham Lincoln. Good old Abe. Speak freely, Presley. Gosh. I want to know if you. I trust you, Commander. If you think they belong here. How did you so end up assigned to the Normandy? 
I signed Whoops. up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Right. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. No, I, I got two Paragon. Shit. Oh well. You know, I've always thought if there was to be a Mass Effect movie, Presley would be played by uh, Ed Harris. Don't know why. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Uh, here we go again with the size reference. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Are you contagious? Uh, what disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean, you mean you didn't know? How presumptuous oh, of you. Okay, I've got Vrolic syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. <laughs> One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Alright. I have to go. Alright, see ya. At least she didn't say I should go. All right. The galaxy map. Uh, yes, I'm going to get the, the blue lady first. away secret 
the asteroid. This secret Oh wow Here we go. Okay, who do we take? So I'm got I've got the decryption and electronics down. I need I need I need I need Rex and Ashley. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Yep, then right into the lava. Or up the pipes. Come on, Mako. Seriously? I actually like the lens flares, they look cool. Should sneak around and pull its tail. Oh. This is good. Yeah, I love killing yes in my maker.
Come on, come on. Don't lag behind. the rockets. Don't bag him. Daddy needs to loot. Everything. I need everything. Like, literally, I'm a, an item vacuum. I need everything. I want everything. I need it. Precious, precious. Short. Okay. And we are out of here. Well, well, we're here. Might as well. Uh, unity for when Caden and someone else decides to die like a fucking idiot. Is this for Ashley? Ooh, six. Six, six, six. The number of the beast. Daddy needs throw. Oh shit. Come on. Fine, whatever. Next time. Off in the distance. Looks like a llama. Get away. No. I'm in here. You gotta be in here to get killed by those things. He says while well, almost getting hit.
Mako, Mako, calm down, Mako. Uh, Normally, this these uh, metal sessions, I listen to music, but uh, with YouTube being how it is, roadblock two for the price of one. That's it. Should get. Oh, intimidate. Mostly Williams. Let's throw. Hey. Unity. Unity. I'm sure someone's gonna die eventually. Whoop. Yes. 
Ugh. Could have gotten better. Could have gotten a lot worse. Wait. Come on, Rex. Lower me down. There you go. Oh, this part is even more annoying. This part is even more annoying. I hate this section. 